Today guys, Chili Koo from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm going to do a little pour for you in some nice bright uplifting colours. And it's going to be what I hope will be a, a veil of flowers over... Well, let's just get on with it and I'll show you. <laughs> uh, as we go along, it'll... It all should um, show itself to us all. Just was going to show you this little dip that I did yesterday that's all nice and dry uh, because I worked on it after I'd finished filming, just doing some tiny little, uh, tiny little water balloon dips. So it makes these tiny little fairy like, and it's the gold has come out in it. I'm not sure if it's showing it. Um, in the actual movie in the video but the gold has come out it looks really lovely so with a coat of gloss on that it will bring those colors out even further so I'm very happy with that one very happy so that was a little test on the small one for another bigger one that I'm going to do at a later stage so this one I'm doing I'm just hoping I've got enough paint mixed up here I think I should have mixed a little bit more orange but never mind um so i'll get going i'm using the montmartre studio acrylics and i have mixed it with my 70 30 uh, montmartre craft glue i have the pouring medium recipe in the drop down box underneath so um you, you'll see it there and um it has my pouring medium recipe and it has the supplier so Bear with me when you think, what on earth is she doing? So obviously, I, I have got a plan in my head, but whether it turns out to my plan is a whole different scenario. But we'll just go with it and see how I can try and get it to um, look something really reasonable. Um, you can always just keep on working with something before you give on give up on it but I mean if you have to scrape it then you know it is really only just paint so don't get too stressed out about it so that was the Montmartre orange and this is the Montmartre metallic silver which actually I might put on last I am going to um yeah put these colors down the center as you'll see can go over the side a bit with this hopefully it will all show its craziness when I've finished I know some people say oh, I'll look at what you're doing and thinking no no that won't work but then when it comes out it's uh, usually a nice surprise so let's hope it's that way today now I've got some white made up I don't like to throw any of my bottles away I like to just keep remixing bulk loads of paint in them so I've got a bit of white in here so I just it's pre-mixed so I will just put some of that in there too got a crazy idea in my head and I'm just hoping <laughs> that it works out lovely I've got the last little bit of the, the dark red the cool red in there that was the brilliant the other one was the brilliant red but we'll see I just might as well use this last bit and then I can make some more paint up in my container so yeah, use all your spare containers for remaking paints up. It's um yeah, they're all, they all can be reused and it's yeah, it's, it's helping with everything. So hope you guys are all going okay and keeping yourself busy. Um, I think is the key at the moment. Yeah. I will put some of that through here to so the idea is is that I have a veil of flowers around the outside and um, 
kind of make it look a bit like raindrops on the inside hopefully but or water or whatever we'll just see see um, how it presents itself <clears throat> Okay, we still had a nice warm day here in Australia. I suppose it was about 26, 27. I'm not sure what that is in that's centigrade, Fahrenheit, whatever you say. I'm not 100% sure. Um, gonna add some of this silver now. It's kind of like, I mean, it is a metallic, but it's like a silvery blue. Put some. bit of that and a little bit of that I might just give it a tilt I'm trying to keep re reusing my puppy pads as often as I can um, I'll just kind of um, tilt it gently so it covers your whole of your canvas just hoping what I've got in my head works out. But you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm sure something will, attractive will come out of it because they're such lovely colours. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I hope... Yeah, I you hope you're all keeping busy, creating, doing something you enjoy to, you know, help pass your time and keep your sanity. Um, do I, or do I like that this way? I'm just trying to think. But yeah, that may be. I might turn it around. Mm. I'm probably brushing this and I don't know why it's just tilting it it should be your sort of therapeutic part is just tilt it nice and slow go with it and back again okay I'm not too worried about this down the bottom because I'm going to swipe down that way I'm not too worried about your very edges because I can Fix those up with uh, runoff paint, so you use your runoff for your edges. So I just um, work with this. Oh, I've got going all over the floor or something. Okay, um, I want to put a little bit of green in the. I don't know whether I want actually want the moss green, or oh, I might go the turquoise just around the edges because this is where my veil of flowers is going to be so be around my edges looks very fiery doesn't it that's um, so doing a veil of flowers around the edge or flower look but I'll probably have to do it in a few stages to let the paint dry off a little and to keep the center like that um, might even drop a little bit of blue this is the phalo blue that was the round here this will all come out when I balloon dip it you see it's color like a mad dog's breakfast Wowzers. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I've just got a cough but I have not got anything contagious trust me but anyway I've stayed in my own home so I 
perfectly fine. <clears throat> what I'm going to swipe with is the real, it's like the real aubergine or black cherry that I made up a couple of days ago. I literally made it up with the very dark red. I did some phthalo blue and a blob of black and it's sort of like a real dark cherry. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okie <clears throat> dokie. Oh. So I am going to swipe from the top on this one down. I'm going to use my big um, sheet of this is a soft plastic file divider. It's not really thin and flimsy. It's got a little bit of body to it. Somebody asked me if you know how do you put a lot of pressure on it. We well, you, you just hold it like this and you just let about a centimeter at the top drop into your canvas so it's about a centimeter and then just gently pull it back towards you. This looks as though it's taken over the whole painting but it won't at all. It will be good, so I'm going to just scrape a bit of that off and it doesn't matter, but not for what I'm going to do with it because all that's going to be covered up. <clears throat> so all these beautiful colours will reveal themselves as I plod along with my little plan in my head, but as you know it can all... Um, not go to plan and turn out something completely different and that's all right with me i'm happy it'll be a happy surprise it's just the process that what it's all about it's it's not the destination it's the journey is that what the saying goes because that's what it is for me i just love the process more than anything and if you love the artwork at the end of it then it's a big bonus. This has turned out weird because now I'm thinking that I've used maybe that dark cherry. No, I don't think I mixed it. It looks like float. It looks like it's mixed with flow troll because those are like flow troll cells. So that is weird. But never mind. I will just give it a gentle tilt back. Nice and slow. They definitely look like flow troll cells <clears throat> because if you mix with flow troll, they come more lacy than actual nice round chubbly cells. So maybe I mixed that particular one. I can't remember now. See, that's a. I've had that paint mixed and um, I don't. I can't remember mixing that with Floetrol, but never mind. I'm going to leave that as it is for now. I, I am going crap. Maybe, maybe I've used the wrong paint. Uh, anyway, it will be fine. Just go with the flow. It actually looks more like a um, rain event. It is definitely flow troll and not my glue mix that that swipe is because that is definitely not flow troll cells. But the other paints underneath are, so that's going to be weird. slowly heating the paint up, getting rid of air bubbles and allowing the other cells to come up. Now, my plan is to leave this for a good half an hour. So this effect through here is gonna stay as it is. 
it looks lovely like sunsetty colors which looks lovely and it's the around veil that I'm going to bring up with a balloon I need to blow a new balloon up because look this one has literally gone pear shaped so what I will do is I need to let that paint absorb into the canvas a little bit quite a bit more because there's a lot of paint on there and uh, to dry off a fair bit before I start just doing my balloon work in a nice veil around the outside and then I'm going to leave the center exactly as it is but I kind of hoped that the cells wouldn't go so nice and chubbly um, but that doesn't matter so the idea is to oh do that kind of effect this is a real little one so but I wanted to I will blow up a bigger one but that's doing quite lovely little um, looks like fireworks but look at the colors that it bringing through because all those lovely colors are under there but you get a better effect when it's dried off a bit but look at me I just because I love this doing this so much and those colors stunning stunning oh. yeah I'm gonna go right over oh, this will be so much fun because Look at those brilliant colours under there that are coming up. That Doing the swipe like that gives you that beautiful negative space look. So, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I don't know if these colours are showing up so vibrant as they are. it's just a veil of flowers around the border of the canvas so I did one the other day and I went right the way around the border and along the bottom and it, it looked 3d it looked as though you were looking through this gorgeous veil but these colors oh my goodness I've got to do a real big one in these colors because they're just really gorgeous really gorgeous oh, wow those are going <laughs> those are going those cells are going a wall they've gone really big so i need to adjust the mixture so the cells stay tiny yeah. oh well they've gone real they're going really crazy i don't know what's i've mixed them with my normal mix but it's, the rest of the pants I just wasn't sure about what this and I don't see this is definitely my cherry but it's looking kind of uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on here but oh there's some absolutely kind of magical effects coming from these dips there I'll give you some close-ups. I said I was going to go away and now I can't leave the thing alone. Oh my goodness, this is mad, Professor. Really, um, oh. I'll use some of my dips for the very back. I'm sure you're seeing the... If you keep wiping in between each uh, balloon kiss, so it's it'll certainly stop your work from going muddy when you continue kissing. So if you keep dipping into, you know, over and over, you can tend to make your work go muddy. So, oh well, I've started now, so I'm going to just continue on and finish this. I'm not going to go away. I'm too excited about how it's turning out. I love it. Just love it. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers. That is gorgeous. 
think I did this veil of flowers like a couple of, oh, probably when I was first getting into the acrylic flow art, but I haven't done it for a long time in a veil, you know. Well, it's like a frame, isn't it, around. I just wish now that the centre had stayed that lacy look, because then it kind of looks like you're looking through into rain or through rain. But, so, I could do without these big floaty ones in there. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's what I've got, so I will work with it because it's so bright vibrant and uplifting how can you not I'm happy with it and that's it when you're in your art room the only rule is there are no rules and they're your rules nobody else's so Oh, when I do the close-ups of some of these gorgeous flowers that are appearing, they're just stunning, really beautiful. Let's stand back and have a look at it and see where it needs. But yeah, I've, <laughs> these have gone like crazy. They look like boulders in there. So... I suppose that's what they'll... <laughs> this would look stunning. Um, just not sure <laughs> about these big bubbles. Big chubby cells. Wowzers. Okay, I am going to try and give you a close-up. I will certainly put photos on the uh, finished video so you can have a look at what it's, how it develops. But I'm very happy with that, except I would have much preferred it to stay more um, uniform through the center of just the one type of cell so i'm not sure why i've got these real big blobs because i've done the mix the same as i always do it and they don't normally go that big so i may have added too much pouring medium to the paint i'm not completely sure but i'm not sure if i should work with them and make them into something or just step away I know I need to just finish the edges you can use your balloon to dip into your paint and just balloon kiss the edges finishes it off quite nicely um, there I've got some paint there you go so I will leave this one with you and have a look at the photos at the end and let me know what you think um and that if you give this a go you can put the photos of your uh work on our acrylic australian australian uh, acrylic pouring group it's for you guys to post your work and show everyone and and hopefully everybody or you know help each other out on that site so that's on my facebook page so oh sorry god just noticed that i've got my ah uh, Sorry about that, but there you go. So I will leave that with those crazy big huge cells have gone really awhile, but they do look like big boulders in there. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll end up, I don't really want to do balloon kissing in those, but if I give you some close-ups, you'll see these. Oh, they're just gorgeous really gorgeous thank you guys for joining me thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i am very appreciative and i do um absolutely appreciate each and every one of you so uh yeah let me know what you think about it and yeah positive comments constructive criticism i can take until next time 
I will see you then. And hopefully I've got another uh, little different pour to do for you all. So thanks guys for joining. Bye for now.